Is berberine an effective alternative to metformin? Let's talk about how berberine works to treat insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, and polycystic ovary syndrome. Berberine is a bioactive compound that can be extracted from several different plants, including a group of shrubs called berberis. A yellow-colored alkaloid, berberine is used to treat diabetes, high level of cholesterol and triglycerides, which is called hyperlipidemia, high blood pressure, inflammation, obesity, and polycystic ovary syndrome. Like metformin, berberine affects the adenosine monophosphate kinase, or AMPK, an enzyme that controls cell energy production. While AMPK is activated by energy depletion, it is inhibited by energy excess. High glucose and glycogen levels and high fat intake inhibit AMPK. Being sedentary and eating a high calorie diet also suppresses AMPK. Exercise and caloric restriction activate AMPK. Berberine has the same effect on insulin resistance and fat loss as increasing exercise while restricting calorie intake. Berberine has been shown to decrease insulin resistance, making the blood sugar lowering hormone insulin more effective, increasing glycolysis, which helps the body break down glucose inside of cells, decreasing glucose production in the liver, slowing down the breakdown of carbohydrates in the gut, and increasing the number of beneficial bacteria in the gut. Studies in diabetics show that one gram of berberine per day lowers fasting blood sugar by 20% and hemoglobin A1c by 12%. Hemoglobin A1c is a marker of long-term blood sugar levels. Berberine also improves blood lipids like cholesterol and triglycerides, which is great for those with metabolic syndrome. A review of multiple studies concluded that berberine is as effective as oral diabetes drugs, including metformin. Berberine has the, an additive effect when administered with other blood sugar lowering drugs. More importantly, berberine can make lifestyle modifications like diet and exercise much more effective. In head-to-head -head studies, berberine was superior to metformin in reducing the waist circumference and the waist-hip ratio. For women with polycystic ovary syndrome, the glucose uptake and excessive testosterone production of their insulin-resistant theca cells have been shown to be effectively blocked by berberine. Berberine helps reduce acne and lower testosterone levels that contribute to hirsutism. Berberine has also been shown to improve fertility in women with PCOS. Berberine can help with weight loss by improving the ratio of the fat hunger hormones, leptin and adiponectin. The dose of berberine is 500 milligrams with each meal, but go very slowly to avoid gastric upset. The most common side effects are GI upset, a rash or headache. If you have any questions regarding the use of berberine, I answer all your questions live in our hormone support group, which you can access through our free hormone reboot training. Combining lifestyle modification with berberine in patients with metabolic syndrome can effectively alleviate insulin resistance, regulate blood glucose and blood lipid levels, and reduce the level of inflammatory response in the body. But berberine is not intended for long-term use, which is why I focus on supporting your hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus controls glucose metabolism, blood pressure, inflammation, as well as hormones and fertility. I use berberine to assist in weight loss and improve insulin sensitivity, as well as balance out gut bacteria, but only for a short period of time. Three months of use is usually sufficient to correct these imbalances with berberine if your hypothalamus is supported to keep your body in balance. I'll see you in the next video.